Welcome to Capsule to Cone, I'm Matt McQueen, and today we're going to talk about a highly underrated, almost unknown bass guitar amplifier. In fact, it's not actually a bass guitar amplifier at all, but that is what I use it for. That is what you should use it for. So let's dive right in, shall we? We're going to talk about the PV Decade. So the Decade was introduced to me by my friend, Nate Washburn, who showed me a video from Eric Valentine's YouTube channel, Making Records with Eric Valentine. And that video is unfortunately no longer on YouTube for you to view because Eric is showing how he produced and mixed a Queens of the Stone Age song and the Queens sort of like there to be all this mystique surrounding the way that they make records. And so I don't know if Eric took it down of his own free will or what the reasoning behind it is or if he was asked to take it down, but it is no longer up there. However, when you could watch this video and I was actually able to save a copy for myself and no, I'm not sharing it, but I do have a copy for myself. Eric was talking about using this amplifier to record dirty bass guitar. And it's honestly perfect for that. I've used it on a bunch of projects. I, I really like it. In fact, I have it sitting right here next to me. This is the Decade. A little one by eight, 10 watt combo. And uh, has some really interesting controls there that you can see. It's got a, uh, whoa, almost lost it. It's got a, uh, pre and post kind of gain. It's got the normal and the saturation input on it, and it's got a three band EQ. So super versatile little amplifier, or maybe it's not, but I don't actually ever use this for guitar. I use this for bass guitar. And one of the secrets to making this thing work is to actually mic it up with a ribbon mic. And I don't, I don't fully know how this works. I just know that it does. And it's super awesome because when you listen to this amp in the room, and if you were just to plug a bass guitar into it, it just sounds obnoxious. It sounds, it sounds really, it sounds really grindy. It sounds terrible. Actually, you know what I should do? I should just go ahead while I've got the overhead mic up. All right, so we're back and I've got a bass guitar and I've got the Decade and it's just sitting here next to me. The only microphone is the shotgun mic that is just out of frame. And I actually think this is gonna be a good test to give you sort of what, you know, the experience of what everybody's expectation would be like. When you plug into this thing and you listen to it in the room, not under a microphone, you would automatically assume that this is not a good amplifier to use for, well, really probably anything, but especially bass guitar because it just sounds very bright and grindy. There's not a whole lot of low end that you're, that you're feeling when you're sitting next to the amplifier. And since the shotgun mic is just out of frame, I think it'll give us a good sense of what this amp really sounds like in a room when you're just playing next to it. I mean, it just sounds like a you know, a cheap little practice amp. So here's the PV Decade. <laughs> I mean, okay, not a great bass line, but you get the idea. It's just, it's uh, it's kind of spitty, it's kind of farty, it's kind of, you know, just, it's not pleasant. It's not a pleasant sounding guitar amplifier. But now what we're going to do is I'm going to show you a song that I recorded for the band Pistol Whip. And we used this for one of the main bass guitar sounds. We actually used three different sources that I kind of combined together. We've got the DI, we've got the Decade, and we've got an orange Thunderverb going into an Ampeg 8x10 cab. And all of those things are kind of blended together in the final mix. But when we tracked this, I ended up using the Decade and I used an SE Electronics VR1 ribbon microphone just barely, barely, barely off the grill cloth. And this is what the Decade Isolated sounds like in that track. So a couple of things that I think are worth noting about this when you listen back to it. 
are, first of all, I think it's probably partly due to the fact that we're using a ribbon microphone, but you get so much more low end. It's it's almost unbelievable when you listen back to it that there's that much low end coming out of this tiny, tiny little eight inch speaker. And I think that's partly due to the proximity effect, the microphone being so close to the grill cloth that you get this girthy round low end, but you also still get that distorted characteristic and all of the high end information that is really mostly what you're hearing when you're listening to it in the room that just makes it sound harsh and, and spitty and not pleasant. And it's actually sort of a really, really good vibey distortion that you can use on a rock track like this song. Now it's not perfect for everything. I probably wouldn't use this for a metal song for sure. I would try to use something that's a little bit more refined, like something from, from Dark Glass or something like that and blend it in with maybe, you know, something that's like an Ampeg SVT or something but for a track like Dead Presidents this was the perfect solution and I've been able to use this several other times on other records either blending it in just a little bit or leaning on it a lot like I did in this track and you can score these for like next to nothing like this is essentially the cost of a used boss pedal I think I got it for $90 and for as useful as it is I mean, it's, it's something that I definitely felt like that I couldn't live without. I have some links down below. You can check out more about the PV Decade if you would like to learn more about it. You can also search for yourself for one on Reverb, eBay, good luck. I looked right before this, I didn't find any, but it's a super cheap, super affordable amp with amazing sonic characteristics that are perfect for vibey, raunchy, distorted rock bass guitar tones. So until next time, I've been Matt. Thanks for watching Capsule to Cone and I'll see you on the next one.